Okay, the world of integers is denoted by z from the German, so uh, from the German language. So an integer z is a whole number or its opposite. So it's the whole numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, off to infinity, or opposites of those numbers 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, off to infinity. In the red here, I've written a useful characterization of integers. They are numbers that have no decimal or fractional part. So they have, when their decimal representation, they either can be viewed as having repeating zeros after the decimal, or just as not having a decimal or fractional part. So let's come down here and see which of these numbers below are integers and which are not. Okay, the number two is an integer. Notice it has no decimal and no fractional part. So we'll put a check mark there to say yes, integer. Next, we have the number negative 39.36. Negative 39.36, negative, not an issue. 0.36, big issue, because an integer has to have no decimal, no fraction part. This one has a decimal part. So, no, not an integer. For those that are curious, we call this a rational number. That's the, class, uh, the most general classification for that one. Now the next number might be considered kind of a trick question here. <laughs> negative 64 over 8 looks like a fraction, doesn't it? But what is negative 64 divided by 8? Notice that you can divide 64 by 8 and divide 8 by 8 to yield negative 8 over 1 or simply negative 8. So negative 64 over 8 is the same number as negative 8 and this number is check mark yes an integer. So even if the number is written in a fraction form a number may still be an integer after simplification. Next 66 any decimal or any fraction? No, no decimal, no fraction, so yes, an integer. Yes, an integer. And how about for the final example? Pause the video if you haven't stopped it on your own to try one on your own if you'd like. But three-fifths is purely a fraction. It's purely a fraction. So this is no, not an integer. Again, for those that are curious, this generally falls into what we call the rational numbers.